the cars today have turned into very complex electronic control systems. In this talk, when I say hazard, it means system states, a state of the system, when combined with the worst condition in the environment, will lead to an accident. So hazard analysis is the analysis to identify how can the system get into such a hazardous state. And the goal of hazard analysis is to try to see what could cause an accident happen before the accident actually happens so that you could prevent that. So in a linear chain of events model, what people believe um, about how accidents happen is one event happens, leads to another, leads to another, eventually leads to the final undesirable outcome. So immediately leads you down the path of focusing on component reliability. The things have really changed. So the diagram you're seeing on the screen is actually an example of the software architecture from an automobile. And I think what jumps out at you is how complex their interactions are. So our hazard analysis needs to take that into consideration as well, the people aspect, the safety culture aspect, a new kind of hazard analysis method called a system theoretic process analysis, which is based on a different kind of hazard, a different kind of accident causality model from the chain of events model. So STPA believes that system is a, sorry, safety is a system emergent property. It's meaningless to talk about the safety of an O-ring without the context it is going to be put in. Instead of chain of events model, for how accidents happen. It looks at safety as a controls problem. So you only have accident when there's unsafe control actions being issued from the higher level controller to the lower level elements in the system. It shows that safety is not just about the technical system. It is about the, pro the development process that's developing the system. How you make design decisions, how you regulate those design decisions. You can't model your technical system stand alone without the operators as part of the controllers. The operators using the systems constantly issuing control actions. Today's talk, we're going to focus on hazard analysis. Start with the accident or the loss you don't want to have. And the next, you ask, what kind of state of, uh, in my system would lead to that accident? So that's the hazards you want to identify. I assume I started a safe, right? The system will only change its state when the controller issues an action. So what kind of unsafe control actions can my controller issue? That's the next step called the causal analysis. What in my system would cause the controller to issue an unsafe control action? That's the core of STPA here. The outcome is a list of causal factors at the lower level of the system that might lead to the top level accident. And those causal factors can be in turn written into design constraints and then design requirements. Adaptive cruise control is a feature already um, in many premium vehicles. These cars have a radar in the front. The radar can sense the distance between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead of you. When you set cruise control, you also set the safe distance you want to keep. How can we make sure the system itself is safe to begin with? Um, so going through the steps now. First, you write down the accident you don't want it to see happen, collision. And the hazardous states, either you um, hit, hit the vehicle in front of you or you get uh, rear-ended. And th that, in turn, can be rewritten into top-level system safety requirements. And you ask the question, how can my controller issue an unsafe control action. So this method can be applied very early on in your design process. How can my sensor go wrong? How can my communications go wrong? And notice it's, it includes both component faults as well as things that might go wrong in the interactions, in the communications. For the ACC system, was it generated a list of system safety critical design requirements. This outcome seems to show me that this hazard analysis is quite promising for applications in electronic control systems.